I would like, if you allow me, to welcome again all the guests to the second edition of Novet Africa Symposium in the context of strengthening data governance in the Africa data ecosystem. Talking about data governance does not only mean talking about data infrastructures or the digital infrastructures that are needed, but also talking about capacity building, the skills, the training, um, and that is also why it's an issue that we all need to be aware of, because we need to develop the skills to think about these issues, to govern data responsibly, and to then be able to create the systems that help us unlock its value in the different sectors and in, in the different countries and different contexts. What we want to do with this symposium, bringing people, discussing, trying to find a consensus of where the problems are and uh, what are the solutions, and go ahead and make sure that we fight against this digital divide. Data governance is important because with data, governments or institutions are able to uh, determine what is happening in the, in the communities and be able to come up with policies or interventions to support the challenges that the communities are facing. We want to ensure that we're able to transmit data from one point to the other, ensuring that the data is protected, is secured, and it's of good quality. So that's the essence uh, of this symposium that we're having. And good enough, uh, the Global Digital Compact, which also speaks uh, to the issues around data uh, governance, was approved and adopted by the UN just a few days ago, uh, which, order, which also uh, adds uh, credence to what we are doing uh, at the moment. And we thank the National Institute of Sciences of Rwanda for hosting this event and for giving us all the support to be able to convey this symposium. It's a symposium we are hosting in partnership with the African Development Bank. And um, the main theme is about how uh, we can access various data beyond the traditional uh, surveys and censuses that we do, that the data that comes from private sector, from government, from government systems, um, one, ensure that um, it is uh, harnessed well, uh, following the right protocols of data privacy, but also ensure that uh, it's meaningful to the users, the various decision makers, and that it's well protected. Uh, we all recognize one fundamental truth. Data is at the heart of decision making, of policy making and service delivery.